Now, as the Delta variant wreaks havoc around the world and nations grapple with vaccinating their citizens, two countries have entered into a unique and first-of-its-kind vaccine swap deal. That is, South Korea and Israel have signed a vaccine exchange deal. Under this deal, South Korea will be receiving 700,000 Pfizer vaccines. Later this month, these vaccine doses are about to expire. The exchange would involve South Korea then returning the same amount of vaccines to Israel. Vaccine doses are already on order from Pfizer, Israel. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has touted it as a win-win deal. He has issued a statement on the same. He said that Israel has taken the decision to transfer vaccines in order to inoculate more of Asia's citizens this month and help reduce the holes in the vaccine availability. Bom Jongbu vaccine doip TF is 이번 달 7월 이스라엘 정부로부터 화이자 백신 70만 회분을 공급받고 오는 9월에서 11월까지 순차적으로 반환하는. 백신 교환 협약을 오늘자로 체결하였습니다. This deal would allow Seoul to stabilize their coronavirus situation. The doses will help accelerate the vaccination plans. This would include prioritizing shots to employees in some sectors that have a high amount of contact with other people. Remember, this is a part of South Korean government's strategy to reach herd immunity. They had announced a vaccination deadline of inoculating at least 70% of their population by November this year. Whereas Israel has had one of the world's fastest and most successful vaccination drives, they've been able to administer shots to around 55% of their population. Remember, the swap deal comes days after Palestinian authorities called off the deal to receive 1 million vaccine doses from Israel. And our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us a report on this story. Let's listen in. The much talked about vaccine dosages approaching their expiry date has a resolution in sight. Israel had been facing an excess of 1.4 million shots. Israel first agreed a deal with the Palestinians, and there was much surprise when they rejected them and sent them back to Israel. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett then launched a campaign to urge teenagers to get vaccinated, and the country hopes to use up around 600 vaccines in this way. The question was what to do with the remaining Pfizer vaccines. On Tuesday, a solution was found. Israel and South Korea signed an agreement in cooperation with Pfizer. Israel will immediately transfer around 700,000 doses to South Korea for the vaccination of its citizens by the end of July. When it receives a future order from Pfizer in the autumn, South Korea will then supply Israel with the equivalent number of vaccines in return. This is the first agreement of its kind for the exchange of coronavirus vaccines that has been signed between Israel and another country. Prime Minister Bennett describes the deal as a win-win for both countries. This is Jody Cohen from Jerusalem for Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.